What's up guys, I'm here with Rich from Ground Force Sports, the inventor of the King of the Hill. Correct. Um, and he's got a new model today. He's gonna tell us the difference. Yeah, yeah it's you... actually been out for a couple couple months now. One of the things that the pro teams, the MLP teams, they all have the, the uh, 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 cleat model, which is basically the model that you can use your cleats while you're pitching off the mound or down in the bullpen, because it all came about with the major league teams where they actually uh, were telling me, we want to use this on top of the mound, but we have our guys wear one turf shoe and their cleat on the front. So what I did was I put some material on the front. I mean, this stuff is sturdy and is, uh, wears it for a long time on this. Plus, it's actually got a rubber rubber on it, an actual rubber, instead of the plastic we got on the, on the turf model. You can actually see the difference in, in the two, where you can put your foot right up on the front here and actually drive off of it just like you would on a pitching mound. Nice. Now, for those who might not know what the King of the Hill is, even the original, what does it do? What does it help pitchers do? Well, you know, throughout the history of baseball, we've always had trouble getting our kids to use their legs. And basically, using your legs is the back side creating a force, the front side bracing up to, to make the hips turn. I mean, it's as simple as that. To where so many young players just rotate off the back side, they don't get that initial or uh, 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 secondary uh, force off the back side to be able to create the chain reaction a little bit faster for chain, for chain reaction. And so this helps them. Uh, I've been using this for many years now, the original model. Yeah, you were one of the first ones I gave it to. <laughs> yeah, I, and it was a lot different than this. It's come a long way since then, Yeah. and this new model is amazing. But when I'm using it with my guys, the way they uh, learn so quickly with it is because they get an instant audible feedback from it. When it hits the spring, it's making that noise. So they know whether or not they use their legs. Right, it's, So that is the feedback, and you know, we're such a visual and audible learners, uh, not so much as uh, lessons through verbal. Uh, once they hear that click, they can tell, they can actually feel what it takes to do make that, and they can duplicate it so much easier than if you sitting there saying, you gotta use your legs. Yeah, and it definitely makes the coach's job easier, trying to explain what he saw, then you've got the player feeling what they felt. Now, the player can just feel what they felt, listen to the sound, and make a quick adjustment you know, I could ask the player, how did that feel? And he'll tell me how it feels, and he knows what he heard. Make the small adjustment, the next one's usually better. Within a couple of minutes, they're seeing results with the King of the Hill. Right, and you know, you don't have to be an MLB pitcher to be able to use it. You, It's adjustable, and John knows this. I, I've had uh, eight-year-olds on this, and just not necessarily to get them to increase their intent with the drive, but more or less create a uh, directional force. Because without this, if we don't cause that backside, it's easier to fly open and it's easier to throw across your body, but teaching them the efficiency of uh, a stride that goes right down the line or pretty close to right down the line is invaluable in our, in our profession. We've got to get these kids to efficiently, uh, efficient patterns. Nice. So you're calling this one what, the pro model? Correct, it's the okay. pro model. And basically, it's not just for pros though, like you said, it can be younger guys. Can they use this one as well? Yes, yep. Okay, exactly. so you can still adjust the spring as normal. The only difference is you can wear your spikes on this. It's going to last a lot longer. Exactly. For outside it, use. And you know what? It's a point to where I was trying to count how many we had in the MLB, and I'm pretty sure it's like 62 of them in the MLB. Dang, oh, that's no. crazy. So oh, no. are you, you have all of the teams yet? Not yet. I still got like three of them left to go, wow. and they're the ones that I'm having a hard time getting to respond. Wow, and I'm, I'm sure they'll love it too as well once you get a hold of them. Oh, yeah, no that, doubt. You know, uh, in the collegiate uh, level too, Vanderbilt built two of them permanently in their pitching mound. TCU's got like four or five of them now. Uh, Florida State, Florida's got them. Uh, UCLA, Arizona, Arizona. I don't think Arizona State's got them yet. That was your boy. Yeah, uh, B. Higgs. Yeah, 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 yeah my boy. boy. Still haven't got him convinced. No? Oh, <laughs> well, man, I, we got, I'm I, calling him after that. <laughs> all right, sounds good. <laughs> um, but if you guys are interested in this, you can check my website, yougoprobaseball.com. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. And uh, I've got a little training program, drills and stuff that I put yes, together awesome. Um, for awesome. this as well. So if you if you go ahead and, and uh, order from my site, I'll go ahead and hook you up with that. And, uh, and Rich will get you one shipped out right away. No, no doubt. Thanks, guys.